What's going on, Badger Nation? Welcome to the PBC Den Podcast, your place to level up your Amazon advertising. You know, I'll be coming out with peak quarter four strategies in early November, where I'll really be describing what to do from Thanksgiving to just before Christmas, uh, about November 20th to December 20th. Stay tuned for that in the next few weeks. Now, I wanted to talk about something that's been happening over the last few weeks. I've been getting a lot of messages from friends, everybody from solopreneurs to large e-commerce brands, uh, people you know, spending 50K a month on their ads and up, to so freelancers, to friends that work at agencies, and they've all asked me something similar. They've said something like, hey, Mike, my conversion rate or my client's conversion rate is going down. Please tell me this is happening to other people as well. Uh, So I don't know if this is good news or bad news, but the answer is yes. Uh, 2021 has definitely proven to be the most difficult year on Amazon advertising uh, than any year before uh, that, you know, I've been doing it for about 10 years now, and this is definitely the toughest year. You know, episode one of this podcast was titled The Golden Age of Amazon Advertising nearly three years ago. And unfortunately, the golden age, I believe, is done. And what I mean by the golden age of just very low CPCs, very high conversion rates, fantastic A costs without even trying, uh, I think those days are behind us. And we're really getting into an age where CPCs have risen significantly over the last year. Uh, and we have seen falling conversion rates coincide with that. So, I want to address conversion rates in this episode uh, and really two parts here. Why I believe conversion rates have fallen and the second part, what to do about it, bef- you know, how to think about it even before you start taking action. So the good news is, of course, if you're listening to this episode, you are already ahead of your competition. So let's talk about how to improve. So why do I think conversion rates have fallen on Amazon? And just for anyone that needs a quick refresher, what is a conversion rate? Uh, A conversion rate is a metric that unfortunately isn't tracked inside of your Amazon ads console when you go to advertising.amazon.com. But what it is, that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. What it is actually is a measurement that shows the ratio of people who have clicked on your ads uh, to people purchasing your product. So it, the ratio of clicks on your ads to purchases from your ads. So if you have 100 clicks and one order, that is a 1% conversion rate. That is slightly different than unit session percentage, which shows you the sessions to purchased rate. Uh, and what's interesting is that most people don't understand is that your unit session percentage can actually stay the same and your ad conversion rate can decrease. So. A lot of you may have noticed that your unit session percentage is not that different lately, but your A cost has gone up. What that means is likely your PPC conversion rate has gone down. Um, and you can still have the same converting, in quotes, product. Uh, so what, what that means is if you have one user doing one session and converting, that's 100% unit session percentage. However, if that one user clicks on two ads, well, you have a 50% conversion rate in your PVC campaigns. If that one user clicks on three ads and purchases, you now have a 33% conversion rate, but the same unit session percentage. So that's a really important distinction when we're talking about conversion rate on our ads versus unit session percentage. While we often look at unit session percentage as a barometer of our conversion rate, we are down very much in the weeds of PPC, pulling out the difference between, hey, my PPC conversion rate is down, maybe my unit session percentage has not changed that much. So really, really important distinction. So now that that's out of the way, you can really start to zero in on PPC conversion rate compared to your unit session percentage. These are not the same thing. Uh, And generally people have always said these aren't the same thing. Um, But when we are talking about falling conversion rate on Amazon advertising, it's really important to understand. So why do I think it's been happening? The first reason I think is really similar to why CTR click-through rate is so low on Amazon ads. There's so many ads on any Amazon page that your, con- your click-through rate is inevitably low. So 
you know, a click through rate of like 0.3 is about average for your overall Amazon ads account. And that's pretty darn low. That means only 0.3% of your impressions end in a click. So that's really, really low. Now, what does that mean when it comes to conversion rate? Well, I think with conversion rate, same kind of thing. There are just more ads getting more clicks more than ever. So if you have more people clicking on ads more aggressively, that means that these ads are in more places, more placements, more ad types. You know, sponsored display has really gone into vogue in the last 12 months. When you combine all these things, there's just more clicks on ads, but you know, about the same amount of purchases happening. So this is a perfect situation to describe like, hey, it's possible that someone might be clicking on two of your ads, three of your ads before purchasing. It may be in, you know, 24 months ago, they only clicked on one or two of your ads. And this makes total sense. You know, the this is the game that we are playing on Amazon advertising. You should be doing brand defense on your own products. You should be running a sponsored display on your own products and sponsor brand on your own products and you know bidding on your branded keywords and bidding on your own ASINs for product targeting. You should be doing these brand defense things because if you don't, your competition will move in there, which is you know a brand protection activity. However, what is the end result of that uh, is that people will click on multiple of your ads before purchasing and this will inevitably lower your conversion rate. Uh, and you know, the really bad side of that is they might click on a competitor's ad after clicking on three of yours. So more clicks on your ads per session with the same market size will result in a lower conversion rate, but won't necessarily change your unit session percentage. So this definitely sucks. I know your ACoS is probably going up as a result of this with a lower conversion rate. So I also think this is the perfect storm. Uh, you know, in September and October, where I really started to get a lot of these messages, uh, is an interesting time for the U.S. economy and sort of the global economy. Uh, I know that in the U.S., we've had about six months in a row of record numbers of people voluntarily leaving their jobs. Uh, in August, the number was 4.3 million people voluntarily left their jobs in the U.S. And I think when you have that many people reevaluating their options, going through a period where they're looking for a better position, there's going to be less people more likely to spend some disposable income for a short period of time. COVID numbers are also down in the U.S. as the U.S. sort of comes off its second wave. Uh, and we saw a lull in sales at the end of the first wave. Um, so you know, that's sort of happening too. But bringing it back to Amazon PPC, CPCs are also higher than they've ever been. Every single company that tracks CPCs on Amazon has sort of said the same thing. You know, Tenuity reported an 86% bump in CPCs this year. Uh, I have other friends at other companies that mentioned 90% of their clients are experiencing higher CPCs than the previous year before. And uh, AdBadger's own software data says the same thing. CPCs are up, so there's no doubt about it. So what are you gonna do about rising CPCs and lower conversion rates? The first thing you need to do is definitely track conversion rate. Conversion rate, again, it's not tracked in Amazon, uh, even though you do have an Amazon ads conversion rate as we talked about, and it's different than unit session percentage. Now, if you're not using, uh, if you're not tracking it, you can use ACoS as a secondary metric, um, but really conversion rate really does tell you uh, a couple things. So being able to study conversion rate per campaign, per keyword, is a powerful way to optimize. Um, so you should start tracking it. If you're not gonna use a tool to track it, just boot up a Google spreadsheet and just start writing down clicks to orders per week in a Google sheet uh, or per you know month or per every 15 days. And you will just start to be able to track this number, which is really, really helpful. And you know me, you know the show. Uh, I don't talk a lot about our tool on the show, but this is the reason why we build the conversion rate metric, conversion rate tracker change over time, uh, because it is that helpful. It allows you to say, well, am I getting more clicks am I with fewer orders? Uh, am I getting uh, fewer orders for the same amount of clicks? Looking at that conversion rate is just a really quick way to help clue you in to is my conversion rate changing? So the second thing that I think is just massive here, and this is really the key, is the most important part of this episode, is that segmentation really is the key. You know, I've always said you should segment as much as possible without it becoming a roadblock to optimization. 
Meaning it might not make sense for you to have 50,000 single keyword campaigns because it's going to be really difficult for you to manage and wrap your head around it, but it does make sense to split out your match types. And as CPCs go up and as conversion rate falls, a lot of the things that maybe you once had a buy on, meaning it wasn't that impactful in the past, meaning you were able to get away with it and not really have a bad impact. I think as these conditions have arise, you start to feel a little bit of this pinch. So I've seen a lot of campaigns where people are frustrated. You know, they have been going well. It's been going at their 35% target A costs for a long time. And then I click inside, they've got, you know, five ad groups. Each ad group has hundreds of keywords. They're mixing up match types, um, which again, that means your budget is funneling evenly uh, to this campaign, but then unevenly to all the target targets inside of it and the targeting types, which means you cannot control how much budget is going towards your broad targeting or your exact match targeting in these mixed campaigns. So again, this is a quick episode and I'm pointing you towards two other podcasts that we've done, which really get down in the weeds on just really simple segmentation that will help. Uh, episode 132 of the PPC Den podcast, should you segment your auto targets? The conclusion there was yes, you should. Compliments, close match, loose match substitutes behave so differently that it helps when you break them out so that you can really fine tune your budget. So you might find that your conversion rate of your auto campaign has gone down more in one target than the other. And while you can control this with some bid optimization, it's really helpful if you are able to go in there and set budgets, per auto target uh, that allows you to set placement settings per auto target. And of course, I'm talking about sponsored products here. Another really good episode is episode 106. We talked about what happens when you load up your campaigns with too many keywords. Again, your budget flows to this campaign evenly, but then it breaks up for different keywords and different targets and different targeting types unevenly. So it's very possible that your low A cost branded terms may have been carrying your high ACOS non-branded terms in this camp in this you know large campaign for a long time and now you're feeling the pinch of it. So in short, the tighter your structure is, the more control you have over your spend uh, and how much you're spending on broader targets, which generally have a lower conversion rate, and your tighter targets, which uh, generally have a higher conversion rate. So being able to properly dedicate your budget towards looser and tighter targeting types, easy win. Uh, which is a fantastic way to control conversion rates varying across your campaigns. That is the thing. That is the key of this episode. So simply put, if you have very broad keywords that get lots of clicks in the same campaign as exact keywords that convert better, you will probably find that your broad keywords, because they have higher volume, are eating up your budget. So in short, segmenting your campaigns into tighter groups is an easy way to better analyze where you have low conversion rate in your account and you can address it accordingly. This also helps in situations where you have you know, your exact match keyword and your broad match keyword. Uh, your broad match likely has a lower conversion rate. It's probably leading to a lower conversion rate. Uh, so even though that search term, you know, maybe you get cheaper CPCs in your broad version of it, you'll ultimately be in a, be in a better place if you can dedicate your budget and dedicate your targeting towards that exact match version. And lastly, just bidding. Uh, last week, I re-aired how to think about bidding. Uh, if you haven't listened to it, go back and check it out. Your bids definitely need to remain responsive to maintain the ACOS at a level you want it to be. So when you combine these segmented campaigns with proper bid optimization, you should land at your desired ACOS, and that will put you in the best position to maximize your sales volume. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. It was really a orientation episode, sort of a mindset episode, where how to think about these rising conversion rates. A reminder to let you know that you are not in it alone, Badger Nation. Uh, we are all looking at our PPC campaigns, working on them, tweaking them, uh, and trying to get the most out of it. So Amazon PPC is a constantly evolving, changing Hydra. Sometimes you can solve one problem and two new ones appear. Uh, but the principles in PPC that have been around for a decade, segmentation, you almost never want your looser targeting to be mixed up with your tighter targeting. When you come into a period with lower conversion rates and you do have these mixing targeting types, the high A cost happens and sometimes you can feel powerless to control it. So this episode is really to orient yourself that, hey, you can control this through segmentation 
uh, over the coming weeks, because this is going to be so powerful and important, we'll probably come out with some training about how to segment and you know what that looks like and good things like that. Um, so with all that, tune in next few weeks as we get into peak quarter four, because we're going to be talking a lot about how to use the new budget rules uh, to properly budget during the peak Q4, like what to do with your budget coming into Black Friday, uh, what to do with your bids during that time. Have a good one. And I'll see you next week in the PPC Den Podcast. Have a good one.